The pictures are horrifying. The only thing worse would be to see the puppy mill in person. In just three months, law enforcement has rescued more than 1,200 dogs from deplorable conditions. Yeah, and it's put a strain on shelters and foster homes. But why isn't the state cracking down on these breeders before the conditions spiral out of control? <laughs> the land is open, and here, boss can run free. <laughs> Boss was the last of nearly 300 German Shepherds rescued from a dog breeder in Montgomery County. Commissioner Greg Palmer stayed on the property several nights during the rescue. He was the guard dog on the porch. But Palmer knew it was Boss that needed the protection. Uh, I mean, it was just horrible. Some horrible conditions. <laughs> Months before Angela Powell, the owner of Halo German Shepherds, was arrested for cruelty to animals, concerned citizens in two counties repeatedly called animal control, law enforcement, and the Department of Agriculture to demand better care for the dogs. There were several times I thought, oh, the cavalry's coming, you know, they're coming. Did they come? No. So Clint Brady made this post on social media using pictures he says were taken from Powell's properties. So that's what it took, social media. Yeah, social media is what exploded. It. That explosion prompted Ag Division Manager Mark Murrah to create a list of other breeders that might need a second look. Two months later, 700 dogs were rescued in Berrien County. Dogs stuffed so tight in cages, several learned to sleep standing up. I think we're holding them accountable as the best we can as the rules are written. But it's those rules that are now under scrutiny. Is there anything that makes you feel like, though, this problem has been solved? No. It has not been solved. In 2017, there was a jump in the dog population at Halo. An inspector with the Department of Agriculture reported problems with drainage, causing some dogs to live in mud filled with feces. Others had no shade. In 2018, a complaint brought inspectors back. The number of dogs had more than doubled. There were now accusations of dog fighting, animals being beaten with a shovel, and dead dogs left to decompose on the ground. The animals were ultimately taken out of that situation. But again, it took more than a year from the time the problems were noted to when the animals were removed from that situation. There were periods of time in that particular case where the individual was able to care for those animals. But that is not what the department's own inspection reports say. While they do list progress, by the time she surrendered her license, Powell nearly a dozen violations, a stop order to breed or sell, and injured animals had been documented. The Agriculture Department did appeal to local law enforcement, but to the sheriff and district attorney, the matter didn't seem urgent. They're misdemeanors. A misdemeanor is like a speeding ticket. No teeth in the law, no keen eye to the problem, and no prosecutors willing to bite. There was a civil suit. Powell's parents owned some of the land used to house the dogs, and they wanted them off. When the judge ordered Powell to downsize, Sheriff Doug Mabin and others in the community hoped the problem would simply just go away. So everyone was expecting someone else to take care of this situation. Right, right. So nobody was taking care no, of the situation. No. But Angela Powell didn't get rid of the dogs. Instead, she bought some land about 20 miles away and she started to move them. The dogs were tucked in the trees away from the road, making them difficult to see. <coughs> and in this body camera video taken during a visit to that land by the Candler County Sheriff's Office, Powell says the dogs are hard to hear. So it's just far enough away from everybody that they don't bother anybody. Right. <laughs> But these women say they could hear the dogs, and the sounds were disturbing. Being around animals, you know when so an animal is yelping in pain and barking at a squirrel. <laughs> According to records, there were at least five visits to the property in Candler County by animal control or deputies. This is the only one with video that prosecutors will release. Right. This is supposed to be a sanctuary, basically, for us and the dogs. There were no laws at the time limiting the number of animals a person could keep, and the dogs appeared to have food, water, and shelter. But as more dogs arrived, neighbors insisted something was wrong. Oh, my gosh, mm -hmm. that is awful. A few snuck onto Powell's property to prove it. And they came back with pictures of um, a fresh kill. These dogs were murdering each other and eating each other. We immediately recognized that this was a case of felony animal cruelty. Was there food? Was there water? There were feeders. 
Were they, did they have food in them? They did not have food in them. Animal law attorney Claudine Wilkins was in Montgomery County and helped with the rescue. She says the Department of Agriculture needs the authority to continue monitoring breeders that lose their license. Remember, Powell was ordered months before her arrest to stop breeding and selling puppies. But Wilkins says she didn't. When we arrived, there were male and females inside cages, intact, allowed to breed. There were mothers with puppies, mothers that were pregnant, definitely still breeding. We tried to talk with Powell about the allegations, but she had nothing to say. He's on patrol. Commissioner Palmer hopes animal advocates, though, don't stop talking. I, I've really lost a lot of confidence in the system. But he hasn't lost confidence in Boss. Boss, I know he's happy. There's no doubt in my mind. Rebecca, the Department of Agriculture seems to be on the front line of this. What are they doing about it? They have created a position to focus on training, hoping to help local law enforcement and animal control better understand how to spot animal cruelty as well as show why it's important to prosecute these cases. Remember, the state can find breeders and shut them down, but they cannot make an arrest. We have put a number of ideas for how our state, even local communities, can better protect these animals. It's all on our website, 11alive.com.